to my channel you watch my videos and I, I try my best to give out good information to make things easier for you and everything after I finish giving you a very good information I try to give you good information that I can then you watch the video you learn something you don't know then to like my video is a problem why what have I done to you have I offended you before I've done you somewhere before is it just like the video and subscribe to the channel it's that easy like you just have to go down below click on the like button click down below on the subscribe button and that's it there's no issue there's no issue you know so i really need guys to pull up i need guys to engage more on my videos not just watching and um going away like like the videos you're watching subscribe to the channel you're watching drink it please please and give to you, you give back to me too. Let it be that way. So, way of giving back to me is so, guys. So, what today's gonna be about? It's, um, it's, okay, so this what I'm about to say now is like the requested video. It's something like somebody from my comment section requested for, and I'm always given because like the person asks for it, and I'm going to keep you watch asked for. So, yes, so that's why you should like my video and subscribe to my channel. I was saying, so somebody requested, the person was like, Oh, please, can you make a video telling, um, um, telling, um, me the things we need for school and blah blah blah. What freshers you need for school? Can I just make a video regarding that? So that's what the video is about. So I'm going to be telling you that various things, essential things that you need to bring for school and really, really, really be helpful to you guys. Like, when you do it, you wouldn't have any problem. I you wouldn't need to spend money on any unnecessary So this is a list of things you need as a fresher in the university. This okay is actually like a backward mission thing. Not for backward students, but like if you're in another school you can also use it to basically for private universities, basically for private universities and also backward students most especially. So I'm going to guide you guys and helping you so that's why you're shopping, you know, oh okay, I'm not going to shop for this, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring that to get so that's it. So let's get into the video. Please rush to the end. It's very informative. And please share to the people you feel need this. Don't be selfish. Share to people that you feel need this video. Share to them. Comment down below. Any question you have, I promise answer. I always answer it. Anytime I say comment, I try to answer as much as I know. I answer to your comments. So like, subscribe. Like my video. Subscribe down below. Comment down below too. And share the videos. Thank you. So let's get into the video so guys so the first thing now is i'm going to be talking about um eating essentials like eating in the school yeah this is probably something new before but like i'm just going to state everything so to me like i left something out from what you're meant to know so yeah so the first thing i wrote them down because that's like really make a list of everything i felt like oh you're yeah, going to need this so one so the first thing I have on my list here is your baiting soup. Yes, obviously you need your baiting soup because you need to bath, obviously. So bring pack, like bring, because it depends on the um, like the month you are going to be using in school. So you can bring, just bring whatever you think like can last you. If you are spending three months in school, what you think can last you three months? Just bring plenty. So that you don't have to carry your money 
to go to the store to buy soup. Is he already using my pocket money by exactly to just bring it, bring baking soap, bring toothpaste of its own brush at it, bring sponges, bring um toothbrush, obviously. Yes, he brings it to yeah. bring soap kits. So yeah, obviously in the school, in the bedroom, the way the bedroom has been made, the bedroom has been made, you wouldn't have um the way the bedroom has been made. There is no place for you to keep your soap. She gets. There's no place for you to keep your soap. And actually, there's no place for you to keep your soap, your sponge, and your your soap, your sponge, your towel. There's no like any hanging stuff that you may have in your house. So the thing is, you need to bring the soap container so that because then you come to school now, you never come for wish that I keep this. So bring the soap container so that you can keep your your um this thing. So I keep the soup inside. The one way I do, I put um for my sponge, I put my sponge inside. Um, I put my sponge on an anger. So like there's like a rod. I'm going to do a video showing you my school bedroom. I'm going to do a video that, but like in the bedroom, when you come, you notice it, it's like a rod. I don't know how to explain, but like. Is like a word straight line something. You can put your sponge on an anger, then hang, hang the anger, hang the anger, yes, hang the anger on the word that is there. Then, um, you can also do the same for your toy. You can put your toy on the anger, then hang the anger there. If you don't want to keep your toy inside the bedroom, you can keep it like at the front of your wardrobe. Like at the end of your wardrobe, it depends on how you do your things like outside your wardrobe or you can dry it outside anything you want to do. But bring so case so that's like, yeah. Then bring your bucket, obviously, because oh, don't bring one bucket, do bring like two or three or any number you want because you need bucket to bath, bucket to wash clothes, so bring those two. Then bring your bowl, obviously, the bowl you're going to use this bowl. The bowl you're going to use for for bathing, obviously. Then after that, bring a toothpaste case. The same way you need to bring this toothpaste, you need to bring a like it's like a brushing case or toothpaste case. I don't know the name, but that's what I call it. So let me show you something. So this is what my own looks like. Oh shit, the reflection. Okay, so this is what my own looks like. Uh, let me show you. So it's created like this. So I can put my toothpaste and my toothbrush inside. Because obviously there are no provisions made in the bedroom to keep all of this. So you need to like bring the keys so that you know you need to keep all these things um you need to keep all these things safe because like they are things for hygiene and everything. You can't keep your brush anywhere so that it's not get this away. Probably you do that but like me I can't just keep my brush anywhere. I can't I can't just keep it anywhere. I have to that with my clothes be safe please. So like yeah like the compartments are like this. Let me remove this. Sorry. So this is how it looks like. Sorry, deflection. So, so this is how it looks like. So I put the brush here and I put it to its base here. So if you have another brush, you can put it here too. So it's quite easy and you know it should be affordable. It was a gift actually, but like it's probably it doesn't have to be this. You can like find something else that looks like this for your brush case. Yeah. Then after that, um, that's basically it for bathroom. That's it for bathroom. Okay, yes. Then bring the towel because you can't be hundred percent sure the water that is being. I'm not saying it's dirty, but like I just I'm not so sure like where the water is coming from. It's so clean. So just bring your towel, to put it in water every day, and then put it all in my water every day because just for. I think because it's too good, just to be safe. So, yes, so that's it for painting. So, next we move to um, bed essentials the things you need for your bed. Um, you need things like bed, bring bed sheet, 
there's no best shit for you. You can always see this event. Yes, you don't have to bring the comments. There's already an available bed for you to use. So bring, you have to bring the shit. Bring, don't do really one, bring like two. Because obviously, it's get the time you want to wash one, and when you wash it, it will do dry immediately. So, you need to bring like two, it can be more than two, but don't bring one. Bring what you have, but don't bring one. Try not to bring one, please, and bring your pillow because back of the rest will provide the pillows. You have to bring your pillow and your pillow case, please. Then, bring your duvet or your blanket because it will be cold times. I tell you. Be Serious, serious cool time. So bring it, bring a wrapper too. If your blanket or your duvet is too thick, you can bring a wrapper that has a lighter material. Yes, then does it. Then, okay, for cleaning utensils, bring, um, actually, when you come to school, when you come to school, normally, like, I don't know, but like when I came to school, there was already a mopping bucket and mopping stick broom and aka but at times you come inside your room and you find it, like it, you find it complete and at times that does not at times you come inside your room you find but this the reason is because past students that came before you spoiled it or misplaced it or kept it outside your room or somebody came to carry it from your room you see it's not as if it has not been there so that's the only thing that will make you not to actually find it, find it, but like normally when you enter your room, there is cleaning utensils. But I don't really advise you to bring it from your house actually because like it's rude. But if you can, like if you have the strength to carry it, because you can carry it now, still meet it in your step. So it's a 50 50 if you omit it and if you omit it. But like if you can't, if you don't see cleaning, it's a um, cleaning materials or whatever. You can always buy. <laughs> That's where you have to do pocket money. But, but you can borrow it. But if you don't want to borrow, you have to buy. But just pre pre pre. Go learn this. So when you come to school, just advise not to bring it because it's blue. But if like if you have the strength, if you're trying to stretch to carry from your school, you can try bring it from your house and still it your So what I'm just saying is, just come to school. And if like you can see. Mopping stick and mopping bucket, and not with blue, but with aka, and not with dustbin. I think the dustbin is actually out. I think you can like meet with the Uster book for dustbin, but like, if you don't meet this, you can just buy, like, it may just be only broom, you don't have any can buy that. It may just be only um, mop, you don't have any can buy that. So just, I feel you should, you can buy that when you come to school. Check it. Then, um, so now, I think, yes, then bring Ipo. Yes, bring Ipo. Because, like, things like Ipo. Um, you won't find it, you won't find it, they won't, they won't keep that for you. So you bring iPods so you can use it for your toilet, you can use it to wash your thing. Then, I don't know if I said that my videos, but you're going to be washing your toilet, sweeping your room, mopping, everything cleaning is a student that does it. There's no cleaner to do that for you, it's only really like outside your room, the hostel press, it's like the hostel surrounding that is cleaned by cleaner, like inside your room, you clean by yourself. Yeah. So you need iPhone, um, iPhone chick, Apple, whatever, anyone you want, and you can also use the to clean too. Yes. Then um, thing as well. Then also bring um, like you can bring sponge for probably washing your zinc or washing your toilet seats. Yeah. And you can also bring yes. Then that's it for cleaning. Then I'm just going to say this thing randomly. I can't like break it down. Then okay for food, you can bring. Bring take away because there will be times that they will be eating food in the cafeteria and you know what to Somebody said in my comment that, oh, okay, what if I'm shy and I don't want to eat in the cafeteria? You can bring your own take away from your house and collect the food inside your take and go and eat in your hostel. Then just ensure to bring soap for washing plates, bring sponge for washing plates too. Then also bring utensils, bring a spoon. But in back of investing, they don't like sharp objects, so they don't allow you. You can't bring, they can't bring. In Bangkok University, you can bring, um, you can bring, you can bring fork, you can bring knife. If, because when you come to school, call it secondary school, but they're going to search your bag. They're going to search the inside your bag. Some people you are able to snake it in, but like, they're going to search your bag. So if they see knife, fork, they are going to see it, and you're not going to substitute it. Usually, it's bringing it. They probably don't give it to you. I'm going to never do that even. But like, don't bring such. You can bring your cup, your plate for. Um, cereal, cup for drinking tea, bring those. Yeah, 
Let me check my list. Then the keeper for IG, Bingo Kotobu. For whatever you want, it's for them. Bingo Kotobu. If you want it, it's clean face. Bingo for you. And you can bring any skincare product you want. They don't really care about your skincare product because obviously it's not their business. So you can bring skincare product. So yeah, let me skincare product. Then bring your cotton, bring your cotton board. Bring um sanitizer. Yes, when I'm going to school, I actually bring out a sanitizer because this is COVID 19. To bring out a sanitizer, bring out, bring your face mask, bring a pack of face mask and sanitizer. Then, then um, I think that's that's um what you need on that. So guys, you will be needing boo-boos like for leisure times. Like it's like also a cash shop where everybody's sweating in that book. It's this for girls. So you'll be needing boo-boos, buy plenty of boo-boos. Not too much though, but you need to have boo-boo. Then you're not allowed to cook. If you have fun cooking, they can give you serious punishment. Then. So that's basically it. So guys, yes. So bring your armpit spray, bring your cream. Yes, you have to be, bring your perfume. I think you can bring in glass weapons that allow, but I'm not too sure because back when this is I actually allow like glass things because if you if you bring glass things that are harmful, you get so I'm not sure if it's allowed there. But like I don't know. I don't think it's allowed actually. But, like there are people that use glass perfumes, so you can try your look on them. But you can't be on the safe side. I don't and don't bring a glass perfume. So yes, then bring your anger. Then the thing about angers are. So the thing about anger is in Bangkok University, this you're only allowed to bring like plastic angers like this. Plastic angers that look like this. Because if you bring um if you bring all these iron type of angers, they believe it's harmful and you can use it against your roommate or you can use it to arm somebody. So they only want you to bring class because if you bring iron anger, they're going to seize it too while they are checking your bag. The day I come to bring this too. So that it's not as if you bring um, iron anger and you see every time you have no anger turn and you have no anger to use so bring this to be on the safe side then after that yes also bring um also bring pants anger i don't know if you know what that is let me show you so guys i don't know if they call this thing i'm waiting a pant anger or on this anger or whatever but it's like it's helpful to use for your own things i don't know what the name is called but this is it it's like that anger with like different little to pet. So you can just hang it on this. It's not for girls, hang it on this around it. So yes, it will be really helpful to get this. Then after that, let's see. Then bring pegs to bring pegs. Then you can also bring um clothes to dryer clothes dryer because it's actually see and the line for the line for drying clothes it can't be enough for everybody in the world always quite big so if you bring your own dryer and keep it outside your room to be better for you because like the one downstairs you have to be like checking if there's space if there's space if there's space so just bring your personal home so that like, you can always dry your clothes anytime please you don't have to be washing based on if there's space based on where you are comfortable you get they bring pegs too so it costs more for then also bring newspapers because like when you are coming you will need to put newspapers like in your wardrobe it's like just like you put it in your wardrobe to set your clothes bring newspapers don't forget so like you need to like put the newspaper down to like put your clothes on top you get then also for your tables too if you want then um then yes obviously bring bags yes bring bags obviously to put things for your for books like you need to put your books aside put things for class inside then also for um this is, you know, for church but any bag you want any designer and even you can be designer but that's your problem that's like that's your business <laughs> anything you want they don't really care about bags just bring any bag you want then i advise for you to bring dinner gum bring thin accounts it can be like two or three no i'm, I'm not emphasizing because obviously i'm bringing my trick gowns because obviously in under we are going to do my trick you don't know if it's first semester or second semester you're doing my trick so just bring your bring your matric 
down so that you don't have to be quite button please can you um, help my purchase a matric gown and they end up bringing you something you're not interested in or you have to do online deliveries that are stressful so just buy it before you come to school then do it at two or three is because like you can have like dinner nights other events you need to now come for you can have an induction ceremony into your department so bring plenty of dinner gown then also you can also bring a shoe rack um, you can bring a shoe rack for keeping your shoes if you don't keep it under your bed or put it somewhere to stick you can bring a shoe rack it's your business it's fine you can also bring room decorations like if you want to decorate your room if led lights anything anything bring it you can bring that it's your, literally your business you can bring room decorations anything then also bring scarves too because I have, I have a scarf on. bring scarf because actually it's not compared to wear scarf to back up church I don't for sure that like I never say she bring scarf just bring it because maybe it for something I don't know probably like maybe you did not do your hair and you need to cover it just bring scarf it's for in case it's no compulsion bring wigs it's not compulsion if you have wigs if you don't have wigs but let's be sure it has to be yeah, this lens. <laughs> yeah, let's see be this lens because if it passes that, you have to be packing. But you can bring something to the other but it's just that you have to pack it. Then attachment, bring attachment because let me tell you something. They will add money to the attachment they are selling. They will seriously add money to the attachment they are selling. So buy for now. Yeah, but like, it depends on how many times you want to make it okay, within the range of months. So you can buy like four, three, whatever. And the color they use is yeah, this is brown and black. So you can either bring brown or black attachments. And bring your air creams too. So you don't have to go buying good air creams. Bring your combs for your air so that you don't get, um, bring your personal ones so that you don't get dangerous or any air infection. Then bring your shampoo, your conditioner. It's always wash it. So I don't put my bowl in. It's kind of that. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have to go all the way to a salon to actually wash your hands and do it inside your bedroom. Then bring biscuits. Can I bring biscuits, um, plantain chips, pringles, any snack you want. So yeah, like I was saying before, bring biscuits, bring any snacks you love. Because like, there will be times you're hungry and like, you can't go outside to go and buy something you don't want the food that is available so you don't be munching and the good times in the night that you're on probably when you're reading or you're doing something you can just be munching on your snacks so yes bring this and also bring drinks guys like bring drinks you can bring mineral drink fresh shoe anything but then you can also bring the water if you're not because backward investing in the cafeteria they actually used to give they used to give pure water so you can bring your own water and you can bring drinks too because at times you need drinks so you can bring it and you can also bring a mini fridge like a small fridge so that you can keep your water inside you can keep your drinks inside you can keep anything because the actual fridge is in the cafeteria and you can't keep things there because it's like a public thing so if you keep it there you just carry it so you can bring your own mini fridge you can just keep it inside your room and use it then after that um bring fun guys like backpack sun is crazy backpack sun is another level like different so i can bring like just a small hand fan yes so you can bring a small hand fan like this and bring this it works magic i just use it the audience like this i'm using it so yeah bring an hand fan so when you order this one you can just be like and you can also bring umbrella for yourself because of sun you can make umbrella because of sun bring umbrella because rain falls also so you bring umbrella so that it's not like you're going to class when it's falling and you are coming to class trip and this is this so bring umbrellas too then yeah for two you bring two tools because yeah, like when you wash tools obviously you can't draw like that with that thing <laughs> because they've not where that is so like just bring two tools that way you wash when you have them down to use then bring socks too for cold times for sports probably bring socks bring um bring bonnets that's you know what they use bonnets for so bring bonnets um bring bedroom slippers because you know what like to go be fit inside the bedroom so just bring your bedroom slippers bring slides to to go outside most people wear slides so just bring slides it's really helpful to bring slides 
you see plenty of people with serpent like, oh, I want to slide to serpent slides. Bring Crocs to here. Let's go wear Crocs and proper. Crocs are actually cool. Yeah, because like, okay, there's this scenario here, like now, as I'm strongly available, there was a time, like now, we are having this agricultural price coverage include farming. So, like, it's better to wear Crocs to go to farm. Like, under level 9, it's very, just bring Crocs there. Yeah. Like, um, like now as we're going to farm, it's very, like, it's much better to use crops so that like not take any time inside. Like, so you, in situations you need crops and you do know, so bring crops to bring scissors. <laughs> they, I think my husband will stop from actually carrying scissors because we need to cut something. We need to cut something when you want to use it. We need scissors for someone to bring scissors. Bring a shaving stick because we don't want to push it. So bring a shaving stick to bring a shaving stick to you. can bring like what you use for waxing and all. Any one you want. Then um bring a freshener, yes, because at times you may be so messy and smelly. So bring you a freshener to make the old place light up. And also when I mop, I like putting like a freshener inside the bottom of my mop so that as I mop the old room can like you know smell well. It's the mop and something so bring a yeah, bring a freshener. Then okay, then also bring clothes to dust because then you come. The, your wardrobe will be dusty, your tables will be dusty, so bring like a clothes kind of like to dust everywhere. Then also bring camphor, yes. The purpose of the camphor is um it helps to like keep cockroaches. You can put you put the camphor inside your clothes, the wardrobe, the wardrobe. Just keep cockroaches away and work their clothes on the wardrobe so bring camphor. Then um then this is about dressing. Um I'm going to do a video also. I'm telling my future plan, I'm going to do a video showing like dressing in my school like different dresses I wear for my classes so bring in back pocket like if you're going for class I don't know if I said this before like, if you're going for class from like seven from, because class starts the earliest class starts by seven so classes are by seven so like seven to five it's very different change from okay so from like seven to five you can um seven to five you have to wear corporate throughout and usually after five you can wear casual so bring corporate skirts, bring corporate shirts. Being corporate does not mean you have to bring like a dress like that again. You don't have to dress bad. What do you need to do with you? Like change like different dresses that way. You have to dress bad, like bring nice shirts that you can wear to classes. Like, you can still leave your dream of dressing as a person. Bring nice shirts, bring nice skirts. Be straight skirts. And back what skirts, yeah, they don't allow slits. So any slits are skirts, put your clothes and clean the chapter when it comes to it. So shirts, skirts, corporate. Then you can also bring like skirts for like, you know, the casual. Then bring the casual tops to so that you can wear for evening or if you are going for like any other event you can wear. Then bring ankarats because like in my church they used to do this cultural Sunday. So you need you can wear ankara in Bakok probably for Sunday service or for classes. But don't wear too much elaborate ankara to go because for somebody be class, even you are trying to make it too. Yeah. Then Bring sandals, like actually, I prefer wearing sandals because like, when you're having classes, very stressful classes, and you have to like walk in. It's, it's much better to wear. It's much better to wear sandals because like it's open and gives your leg breeze. Rather than wearing slippers, I can't bring slippers, but like when I have presentations, I like to wear slippers because it makes me look more corporate. You get to bring slippers and bring sandals too. I can also bring heels. Yes, because I already said earlier, we've been needing like we've been like all these dinner night things. You get all these dinner night stuff. So I can bring heels like just two. You can wear used to church, obviously. Like, nobody used to can wear used to church. Wear wear what you can carry. Don't wear something like shaking, shaking, shaking because like they're gonna strip you. They're gonna be doing you and they're gonna go viral. So like wear something you're comfortable with, something you can carry. You don't say wear used. Then if they used to wear used, you know by force. There are people that went for their macho without use and stuff like that. They went for their inductions every day and start use and stuff like that. Like, like I don't wear used to church. I wear it at home, but like in school, I see no reason because like I don't need to feel shy. But like everybody's doing that. I wear I wear it with my watch kind of thing, but like I don't need to trust you. So yeah, then um, bring lamp here because every time that they can be light up, they can just take light. And you need lamp for like reading, and not really read like maybe they take light. I need to see obviously. You need lamp. You need extension because your um, your socket may not be close to your bed and you need it close to so your extension wheel and you need to charge like right now, right now I have a lot of things I charge everything like I have my phones, my this one, um laptop. See I need an extension book for everything. So bring books of the in school. Bring like um bring books, yes. Then don't only really bring any book that you like you put with the article put that together because there will be some courses that the lecturer wants you to have a note, they want you to write the notes and they are going to grade their notes. So you need to bring a presentable book. So like now they may use your notes as quiz. 
yeah, you get it means you need a squeeze of gummy. So you need to always write and bring in it. So you can bring higher education now, it can continue. Like I prefer using one note for one subject, but there's some courses that they don't care if you have a note. So you can mix these courses together and save one education. But those courses that lecture I will from being that I need you to have a note. This so carry only one note for that course. Thank you. But when you submit it and you may need other courses you are putting inside that note. So we have to wait till the lecture give you back after you submit it. So just add a one for this type of courses. Then um and also bring a lighter because like when you're reading you want a light something also bring pen bring pen obviously because you need to write then bring up iron yes because your clothes obviously will want to most times i need to iron your clothes so bring iron so you know please 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 Yes, because there will be times the weather will be very cold and you need like hot water to bring the burning kettle. I have a burning kettle. It's one of my videos I did. I showed you my burning kettle to bring the burning kettle. Then, um, you can bring a dryer. It's allowed to a dryer. Bring a strips now. Anything, any a product, anything is for a bring it. And you can bring edge control, obviously. Um, you can bring a um, fly bag. You can bring glass cleaner. Like now, I have a glasses. It's something I always use to clean it. So you can bring that too. Bring power bank here because there'll be times that you'll be gone all day, like from 7 to 5 maybe having classes, and your phone will almost run to them. So carry your power bank around. It's really essential. You also need to bring this chips. You also need to bring this because like you really have a lot of documents to keep inside. You need to secure your documents. Then um you can bring granite, you can bring gary. But the problem is when you bring your granite, don't need glass or two. Let it to be um like plastic. You want to bring banana. Let it be plastic. But you don't allow glass things. So you want to bring Nutella. Like, I can bring Nutella, but put it on another container, not the glass container. But you can bring the like, plastic, the plastic container. But they don't bring anything glass. They will sit and they'll chop it. So, so to bring plastic, don't bring anything glass. Don't bring sharp objects. They will sit it. Yes. Then don't bring skirts. Don't bring um skimpy clothes. They will sit it. Because I'm checking your things. So bring things that compliant thing. I think that's it. That's all. That's all. Then yes, if you have somebody taking drugs, please, I beg you, carry your drug when you come to school. Excess patients, observe patients, any patients are carrying your drug when you come to school. So you know, give us a one. Just carry your drugs. If you're on drugs, carry them. Then if you are also on diet, carry your letter. Because they actually, like, they serve, they serve like special diets. So, like if you're on diet, I just want to add this, if you're on diet, carry your, um, carry your letter for them in the cafeteria on special diet they will show you where, you, like, where special diet that normal people eat are different so they show you that place and i don't know if i said this but like medical students medical students they eat separately from normal students it doesn't have because there's couple of seasons, no? so like their ticket is different but the food they eat is different i think they were not the same thing but they eat too is different it's in the same cafeteria but like it's in different compartments so if you're medical student lucky you have different food your food is better than what we eat so is also our food is also good like it's just extremely better yeah they're giving top notch top notch um treatment for the medical students i pay more in school they can be that i so yeah so i think that's all that's all you need in school so just you know, whatever thing you also have like if i didn't mention anything and you are wondering if you can get it then wait to my comment section ask me i'm gonna answer i probably need to put everything because like i'm not perfect i can't remember every damn thing but, like anything you think you want to bring it and you're not sure you can yeah you can like, comment down below then also for muslims i don't think they allow each other you can tie scarves you can tie scarves you can tie scarves you can tie scarves scarf. yeah so that's that's all basically so then if um i think if if you have a problem you can't show your contact lenses and something you can't show your contact lenses so you have to specify you have an eye problem so I hope my video was productive enough. I hope we're able to gain a lot and I hope it helped you guys with your shopping spray and everything. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for waiting to the end. If you to the end, I hope this video will help you a long way. I hope this video goes a long way helping you guys with um getting sense for school. So bye. Catch you later. I hope to see you in my next thing. Right, just in my next thing. If you're watching this video, go back and watch all my other videos. Go back and watch all my other videos because like you really see things that will also help you. So go back and watch my other videos. Just to like my other videos, subscribe to my videos, subscribe, 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 because of the information. And if you don't subscribe, when I give the next one, you may never see it. So subscribe, turn on the notification button so you can see. Thanks for watching. It's a girl pressure. Anytime, any day.
with the little flow with the man there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. See you in my next video. I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, I believe for my next video. Bye.